Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best 4K projectors. Starting at number 5. Epson A TW7000. This entry level 4K projector is the baby brother of the Epson at No. 1 in the list. The chassis and most of the features are the same apart from the missing internal speakers on this model, which are a bit of waste of money anyway. There are differences on the inside, though. It's still a 3 LCD machine but the projection technology will only allow for a picture with a stated contrast ratio of 40 to 1 compared to the 100 to 1 on the TW7100. The chassis of the machine itself is a typically modest size for an Epson of this type. Again, it's virtually identical to the TW7100 and, thanks to its rounded lines, a lot easier on the eye than the last flush of Epson devices. Around the back, there's a choice of two HDMI sockets and two USB 2. Zeros for source material. You can also send audio out through Bluetooth or a 3. 5 mm cable. There are enough buttons on the top of the TW7000 to navigate all the on-screen menus but the fully featured standard Epson 4K Pro UHD Home Projector Remote Control is the better way of doing things. It has shortcuts to most of the settings and a backlight too. There are no lens control buttons, however, and that's because focus, zoom and shift are all done manually here. You'll have to step up to the considerably more expensive, award-winning Epson A TW9400 for motorized control. Coming at number 4. Sony VPL VW290ES. This is Sony's replacement for the excellent VW270ES. Now armed with the X1 for projector picture processor and features like super resolution reality creation and dynamic HDR enhancer. It resets the standard for the entry-level native 4K projector. Like the rest of the native 4K Sony series, the 290ES uses Sony's SXRD 4096 by 2160 resolution. DILA panels which combine the best of LCD and DLP technology. The results in this case are sharp picture which draws an excellent balance between HDR punch and tonal details. There's little want for detail when upscaling from HD and there are bags of carefully shaded nuance with both contrast and color. The only thing that stands in its way is that the even better JVC DLA N5 isn't a whole lot more expensive. At Number 3 Epson A TW9400 this big, brassy projector is as good as you'll get before forking out for the beauty of native 4K projection. The detail may not be as stunning as its brethren in those upper echelons, but for color accuracy, subtlety of contrast and HDR handling, it's a real corker. The result is a picture more involving than you'll find anywhere else at this price point, with a sense of depth so absorbing that you'll pick up detail from your favorite films that you'll have always missed on smaller screens. It's also a dream in terms of practicality. Its 50 to 300 inches image size can be thrown from a good range of distances and the motorized lens means you can set it all up from the comfort of your sofa using its superb backlit remote. Light source type, lamp, service life of light source, 3500H, service life of light source. Economic mode 5000H. Focal length range, FF22. 5 to 46. 7 mm, throw ratio, 1. 35 to 2. 84 colon 1, horizontal lens shift range, minus 47. 1 to 47. 1%. Video processing, 10 bit, video color modes, bright cinema, cinema, dynamic, natural. Serial interface type, RS-232. Number 2 of my list JVC DLA EN5 JVC's DILA devices are some of the best home cinema projectors in the business. They offer exceptionally good contrast handling, effortless smooth color blending, and the best black levels around. 
The N5 may be the baby of this famed native 4K family, but it's still an absolute belter. It's bigger. Pricier siblings are better and blacker, but there's easily enough shading skill and depth of darkness, even here to produce an incredibly involving and three-dimensional feel whether at 4K or Full HD. What's more, JVC's ongoing upgrades to its HDR capabilities just make that picture better and better as time goes on. 16M to 6. 45M. Focus, zoom and the lens shift. Which can move a 16,9 picture by 34% horizontally and 80% vertically. Can all be done from the compact remote control. The handset is backlit and offers shortcuts to HDR, motion processing, picture enhancement, color space and other handy menus. The four adjustable legs on the underside of the projector also help get the picture aligned. On the rear are the connectivity options in the form of two HDMI 2. Zero ports. The USB socket is for service only and you'll need to buy the RF 3D Synchro Emitter PK. EM2 and some glasses if you want to watch in 3D. The only notable absence is a motorized lens cover. The removable plastic cap is not particularly premium and could knock the focus off slightly when taken on and off. If you're not careful. And number 1. Epson A TW7100. It's a shade pricey for an entry-level device, but, make no mistake, this is the king of affordable 4K projectors. It's easy to set up and install, and produces a picture that's reminiscent of what you'll get at the cinema. You'll get a great image right out of the box without needing to be any kind of expert at tinkering with the settings. All the preset modes are very well judged and it gives an excellent level of black depth and dark detail for a projector at this price. Colors are balanced and motion is naturally smooth. How's that for a superb family projector? For K Pro UHD for crisp, clear images, watch native 4K and upscale non-4K content. Easy to set up and access content, stream content by plugging devices into either of the two HDMI ports. High quality and affordable, flexible features that deliver a 4K experience at an affordable price. Engaging big screen experience, get the one of the best out of movies, sports, and gaming. Watch a movie a day for 7 years, 5000 hours lamp life in eco mode. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.